One day, someone's in the middle of a shower and water quits going down the drain. And then someone else took a shower and someone else. And the water was a foot deep and it became my problem. All this stuff is about a foot deep and I'm going after it with the plunger and nothing. I figured the plug must be plugged up. So you can take that apart eventually. You can pull the whole darn thing out. And that's what's supposed to stop the water. And cleaned it up and still water didn't go down the drain. Took that apart. Didn't know what I was doing because there was a foot of soapy water. That didn't help. See, I realized that when I plunged here, water just came out here. So the problem must be deeper down there. So it was time to bail all the water out of the tub with a bucket and head downstairs. What I found was somewhere in here, probably in this rusty, nasty trap here, we've got a clog and I don't know how I'm going to get to it. But, whoever put this together, wasn't me, but it seems like something I would do, use this hose clamp here. So you loosen this up, and you find some unsuspecting victim to hold a bucket. And then you slide the thing off, and watch out. So I took this coat hanger that I unraveled and shoved it down the hole. Got about there. And it didn't go any farther. So I figured I'd suck the clog right out of there. Took the shop back and we're going to hook the end right up to the pipe. What we got is some nasty black water from inside the trap. And you take it apart, put the whole thing back together, and uh, hope for the best. So the next morning, everybody took showers, and water didn't go down the drain. So it was one more day of bailing the tub out after every shower. So I went to the store and got this big long snake thing. What you're supposed to do is shove this end in the pipe as far as you can and twist it with this. So I was shoving it in there and twisting and pushing it and twisting. And I got about 10 feet in this little three foot section. Finally figured out. I'd gone all the way through and cleaned it out, pulled it out, and I really just tangled it up and folded it on itself and didn't get too deep. So I put it back together and the next morning everybody took a shower and the water didn't go down. So we bailed out the tub after every shower again. Next day I went back to the spore store and spent $11.53 on this bladder thing. You're supposed to hook your garden hose up to here, shove this thing in the hole, Turn on the hose and it will blow up and stay stuck in there and water shoots out this end and compresses or pressurizes your pipe and uh, knocks the clog out. Looks like a good way to flood your basement to me, but that's going back to the store. I tried to take apart the pipe, but this stuff is so rusted and gummed up with Drano that we've dumped in there over the years. This house is 102 years old. so. I figured if I started taking it apart, I was just going to break it, and if I'm starting to think, I'm just going to have to rebuild this whole thing out of PVC after I cut it apart. I never had to tear the thing apart, because while I was at the store buying that crazy bladder thing, got this PVC cap for 83 cents, drilled a hole in it, then used this air compressor connector. That was a buck 89. I screwed it into the hole like that. And I took these connectors, which were a buck fifty-six for two of them, and screwed it on there just to make it extra tight, like that. And you took hook the whole thing up to the compressor, stick it good and tight right onto the pipe, and turn it on and hope for the best. Up to forty psi, ran it for a while. I didn't really know exactly what had happened. Took it apart, put the pipe back together, went upstairs, turned the water on, and water ran better than it has in years. The end.